we need to get off our dependence on on fossil fuels and we okay, need to protect let, those on the lowest incomes who let, are feeling the squeeze the most. Let, let's just press pause here. You, you do accept that labour costs are a huge contributory factor to inflation as well, do you? We've had um, stagnating and falling wages for over a decade now. So there is no evidence. We know inflation or inflation is caused by it's global gas prices, global fossil fuel prices and corporate profits. No, no, that's twice you said. <laughs> I'm sorry to talk over you. You don't you don't accept that wages, that labour costs are a contributing factor to inflation. No. And I think if you ask most then, people, they haven't felt that got a pay rise in the last decade. And if they have, it's not been enough to cover the cost of the essentials to put so food on the table. So you are telling, you're telling me that you know not more than the Governor of the Bank of England, I think many people might agree they do, but the whole of the MPC, you know more than all of them when they point out that they urge, by the way, this is a separate conversation, they urge wage restraint to try and keep inflation down. You think they're wholly wrong? What they, what they think that we should do is to push millions more into poverty and have one of the deepest recessions um, that the UK, the country's faced. If, if you think that's a good way to run an economy, you know, what is the point of the economy? I think the way to run an economy, I think the run, way to run an economy it, is to have sight of all the various contributory factors in all, in all honesty and just to blame corporate greed, I think is a little narrow, narrow minded. That's not, that's not all I, I blame and I'm not. Well, also, so it's fossil, narrow. it's fossil fuel what I'm and saying, corporate greed. If you'll let me finish my point is our macroeconomic framework is not fit for purpose. It hasn't been for a long time. We've seen that since the financial crash and things have just got worse and worse for working families in this country. And if you don't think that we need to actually have a rethink, which many, many economists are calling for, such as Lord Adair Turner, who was head of the Financial Services Authority of the last crash. Right. If you don't think we should have a bigger conversation, then I think that you're really doing a disservice to most families in this country. Well, I'm grateful for your input. Thank